Okay, so we have a uh, lightning here. The O3 lightning, um, built motor, uh, pretty much full bolts on, pump gas, uh, ported heads, cams, you know, the whole shebang. Um, stock, stock coolant tank. It, it does have, um, like I said, 12 pounds of boost. It does have a, uh, a bigger heat exchanger, which does help uh, on the highways. Um, since he has that stock coolant tank, he's not able to cool it down. And um, these trucks tend to heat soak a lot, uh, especially when you're at the track and you're making hot laps and passes. Whenever you start making more passes, you lose power. Um, I'm going to make a quick pull right now on the dyno. And... Um, I'm going to get a horsepower number and I'm going to post a screenshot up and um, I'm going to compare that number and the uh, IATs to a, a cooler IAT temperature and show you how much power you're losing based off of uh, supercharger uh, charge temps alone. So this is an easy mod you can do for any, any, any lightning guy, any CTSV guy, GT500s, anything that's water to air cooled supercharged. Um, cars so they're easy mods you can do that don't affect the, the tuning on it and it's just horsepower that you can be getting back most most vehicles even add more timing based off charge temps I know uh, stock lightnings do add a couple degrees more if the outside temperature is, is really cold um, getting my wideband all set up and everything but um, IATs right now are at 124 I will post them in a bit right now. So I went ahead and let the rev limiter stop me. Not a bad thing. I'm gonna save that. Truck made 444 horsepower. And uh, almost 500 torque, so we made 490. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to put a bigger tank on this truck and show you what it would make ice down. Alright, so here's our stock tank. Here's our ice box. Ice down. Otherwise. case we're gonna see how much power we gain just by putting one bag of ice uh, in place of course you can heat, you can cold soak it more and and go tank directly to uh, the, the heat exchanger and then uh, I'm, I'm sorry the intercooler in, under the supercharger and ice it down more uh, but here we go Picked up around uh, 18 horsepower. It's not bad for just a bag of one bag of ice, you know. Uh, like I said, um, if your heat exchanger is in place, all that cold water is going through the the, the heat exchanger and uh, essentially getting hotter because you have hot air passing through that heat exchanger. Um, what you want to do is ice down the intercooler only so uh, on most drag trucks that we do we we go ahead and bypass the um, the heat exchanger for track purposes just put some three-way uh, brass valves in there and uh, bypass it so it goes directly from tank to intercooler and you'll get more power that way you'll get way more colder air so this is just one bag of ice in the tank uh, I do see more more gains if you uh, if you do the bypass uh, well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.